Hey guys, how are you? I hope you are still hungry because we have, I mean, Chef's already cooking it up in here. We've got it going already. We only have a little bit of time to make yeah. an extravagant meal here, <laughs> exactly. so we have to get going. Chef Joe from Mulberry Street, and he has a lot of good things coming up here. And um, now, more importantly, the name of this, which I'm, I've already had problems with it, <laughs> it is a filet. It's a, um, <laughs> an espresso marinated beef tenderloin with a cherry fond de veau. Cherry fond de veau. It already sounds extravagantly delicious. But um, okay, so what have you, I know you're already cooking that up. Right, that's a little bit of fennel. Let's I shaved show, it. Will you show it over here? Because I know fennel is one of your favorites. I shaved some fennel, I put a little bit of garlic and olive oil in it. Beautiful, and fennel is almost like a licorice or a right. yeast flavor to it. Exactly. But is it from the, it's a root, it's like a celery it's a root, root yeah. right? It's, and then uh, you use basically the bulb. Right. You don't use the ferns too often, except for oh, maybe varnish or anything good. like that. And what I do is put a little garlic and a little bit of uh, rosemary. So rosemary, right? Oh, it was over it here. Is. <laughs> Will you show us how to pull the rosemary, rosemary the right way? If you go way? the opposite way, you see usually it runs one way. So if right. you go the opposite way with your fingers, it comes right off it the stem. It comes right up. So make sure when you're doing that. Yeah, and you don't want to leave the stem in there because somebody will end up with it between their teeth. Right, and then you embarrass the whole thing right. there. Because no don't, one will don't tell, tell them. them though. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> okay, now the okay. beef tenderloin. First, we got espresso. Okay. And nice this is imported. the marinade. This is the marinade. How long am I going to have to marinate for? Well, you know, the longer you leave it in here, the better. I would say probably a couple hours minimum. Okay. But you can sit it in there overnight. It'll just get stronger like, coffee Okay. Forever. So if you have the night before to get prepared, Absolutely. so that when you're, you know, if you're having guests over, um, or of course, you can always just make reservations. Right. You go to Mulberry Street. <laughs> That's Precisely. what we would prefer. <laughs> Valentine's Day, Mulberry yeah. Street. It goes hand in hand. It's like carrots and peas. Carrots and peas. Okay, now. Um, a little you put basil. Garlic and basil. Right. Okay. Oh, that looks good. We're get this pan hot. So basically, you rub it around. You can put some plastic over the bowl. Right. Let it sit for a couple hours. Well, I also like to, when I'm marinating at home, I like to put things in a Ziploc bag. Sure. That's and then better. that way I know everything's covered. And, and it seals everything in nicely. Yeah, absolutely. And now, um, so here's... We've, we've got this thing marinated. We're going to go and just put it right in this pan. And perfect. We're going to let that sear. Now, we didn't get enough time to get that pan hot enough, but always make sure you yeah, get you that want it really hot, hot pan. And is that just, that's just good old espresso. I'll move this stuff over yeah. here for And what you. we're going to do with that is we're going to probably, we can put a little bit of that in our sauce also. Okay, okay, all right. So now Perfect. for the sauce, we have some dried bitter cherries. Dried bitter, like yeah, them? I do want to try one. They're dried a little tangy, not like a maraschino cherry. They have a lot of uh, tang mm. to them. Well, I'd like that in a salad too. Yeah, we do it on our uh, arugula salad. We have oh. walnuts and dried cherries. Oh, that's in your arugula salad, yeah. so that sweet and tangy goes against that peppery salad. Yep, excellent. And is that something that's on your menu? It is. Oh, well, dinner menu. Definitely. Look we have a little good. bit of demi glace, which is a uh, a stock made from veal bones. Oh, delicious. We're gonna put that in there with the cherries. Okay. That's gonna rehydrate it. Mm. And then I'm gonna chop up a little bit of roasted pepper for some color. Would you guys also sell that in your market? Sure. Right. I mean, lots of beautiful things in their market gonna, that you can pick up. We're gonna put a little bit in here. Oh, and I love the colors. And then can we're gonna we show cheat. that, chef. Yeah, we're gonna put a little bit over here too. I'm gonna take this to the side real quick. Um, let's show that to the guests sure. and see. Oh, okay. The cherries. So that has the dried cherries in there, the demi glace, the garlic, a little garlic, the roasted red peppers. You can already tell right away. That's absolutely. That'll be delicious over anything. Yeah, I, agree. <laughs> I would take bread and like. Bruschetta bread and you like can just dip, dip it, in it right there. in there. There we go. Oh, you see beautiful. that one's got a nice little sear on yes, it, even though we're absolutely. we didn't have a real hot pan. But it's but being that it's movie magic. Yeah. <laughs> we're gonna switch this. Okay. We're gonna put this ah, right here. I'm gonna put it over here. So, oh, All right, that's yeah. a nice little we love, sear. We love the magic of TV. Love it. It makes everything cook a little faster. That looks good. All right. That looks delicious. Now we got that. We're gonna take our fennel slaw. Okay. Put a little bit of this next to it. And you can really smell that rosemary. Yeah, it's kind of like a ribbon. And rosemary is very strong, so be careful with it because you'll overpower. Right. Oh, so you want, like for you that just want a much, scent you of just it. used a little bit of the, of the. Right, one little prong. This is, brings a good question. I actually had um, one of our viewers ask me the other day in the restaurant. She asked me, hey, when do I cook with, she likes to cook vegetable soup. And I hope mm -hmm. you're watching right now because I'm answering your question right now. <laughs> um, and you're cooking, she likes to put basil in. Fresh, yeah. fresh basil. She wants to start doing right. some fresh That's stuff. That's the best way to do it if you can do it. When do you you when do I put that fresh basil in when I'm cooking something like a vegetable soup? Well, if you're using basil, I would put it in last. Last, okay. Because basil has a tendency to get black and it'll just mess up the way your dish looks more than anything else. Gotcha. And also it gets very aromatic at the end. Right. And you don't want to lose that. So and would you also take that fresh basil and garnish it? 
yeah. with a few like absolutely maybe yeah. a couple leaves right in the middle yeah absolutely which then makes it look fancy so hopefully that answers your question <laughs> that's right i mean different okay what did you just do and you made it look so easy <laughs> what is going on here i'm making a little flower <laughs> and what did you just you just peeled, I just peeled the, the tomato what that makes a nice little rose there that's awesome and you just peeled the skin so can i show the tomato back. Yep. So you just peel the whole skin? Yeah, you peel the whole outside and then use the bottom as a base and just roll it around And your save finger. that for your vegetable soup too. Yeah, that's right. <laughs> you got to use everything. Exactly. Okay, All right. then. Oh, so now we have a nice that. little beautiful, take a whiff of that. Oh my gosh. Oh, yeah. that's so good. That that's is love good. in a pan right that there. That is, and Valentine's Day is coming right up. That's right. Which, not to segue, that was a good segue actually. That's right. <laughs> um, Valentine's Day reservations. I mean, you've got a it's very. A must. Yeah, he's. You know, your place is very, the candles, the, the way that's lit, the ambiance it's very is, romantic. Is very, uh, it makes very anyone, good for your love life. Yeah, I would say, and it makes you look really good in the light. <laughs> yeah, that's right. Everybody looks better in the yeah, dark. everyone looks really, really good. Um, oh my gosh, that's gorgeous. So there you go. I mean, it's simple, it's easy enough to do. Oh this will be one of our specials for Valentine's Day. Gotcha. And, there, and now, of course, if you need something quick to pick up for your Valentine, um, instead of going to maybe to your local uh, convenience store, because right. uh, this is much better. And this is something cool that you guys had brought before. Yeah, the rewind candles. Yes. It's all um, recycled. It's recycled wine bottles with um, soy oil that makes the candle. I love it. Everything is uh, totally green. Everything is about green these days, and it burns for 60 to 80 hours. That's that's a long time. Um, yeah. Right on your uh, bedside or maybe on the back. Sure. And, and, what and a the great thing about gift. them is, is they all smell like different wines, like Riesling, uh, Chardonnay, Merlot. It. So so interesting. And, so and this different. one's paired with a nice bottle of Italian champagne or. Uh, and you can you'll, um, wrap it up for them, and they can pick it yeah, up. Yeah, you can pick up whatever you want. It has little candies in it. These yeah. candies are from Italy. They're, they, they're very yeah. strong. <laughs> Orchid's been that. waiting like a good girl. <laughs> this is a, and why are they so strong? What's the proof on these? Well, I don't know the proof, but you have to be 21 to buy them in Italy. This is so delicious. It but, is. Um, fantastic. Thank you so much My for sharing. My pleasure. And remember, make reservations if you can. If you need a quick pickup, you can get this from the Come market. Come see us at Mulberry Street. Absolutely. Thanks, guys. We'll be back in a sec. Ciao.